Hello, beautiful babies. I got a channel message. You're holding a new frequency. The entire universe is about to treat you differently because your core frequency has shifted into a much higher vibration. Replenish, cleanse, energize, and expect the unexpected. This is completely new territory. But essentially, there's a shift happening right now internally for those of us that are part of leading this new earth awakening. We're doing the work. We're doing the work within. This is for you. And if you're not, this is your cue to get moving, okay? We're doing the work within so that we can become a clear conduit to communicate with higher beings. And I'm actually being drawn to read two messages at once. I think that's why my first one didn't go through. This is the message that kept getting ruined. Angels have a lot to do with this upcoming shift on planet Earth. They will be in direct communication with you as we approach this next phase of the ascension process. An open mind and heart are essential for this to take place. The angels cannot reach you otherwise. Cleanse your energy and your space regularly. You are being watched and counted on by many to lead this collective into this new earth awakening. Get your game face on. So the two together are painting a picture for some of you of what you need to do. It's like a roadmap I'm hearing in order to really step into this role. You need to cleanse, detox. Oof, thank you spirit. Before the new year, if you're drinking still, if you're still indulging in things that you know are not good, that are keeping your vibration low, stuck, this is your cue from the angels to let those go for this new year, for this new you, I heard. <clears throat> you're supposed to become a clear conduit to communicate with these divine beings, angelic beings that are trying to send you messages and guide you in order to guide others through this awakening process. And you cannot do that if you're bogged down with low vibration energy, if you're still staying stuck and choosing your old way of being instead of this new way of being, this high vibration existence. And I just wanna invite the angels and guides in here to share whatever they need to share with me for this message. You are being guided, I'm hearing through this ascension process, you are being guided to guide others. Do not resist this. Your soul knows what to do. Unplug from your mind and follow your soul's calling. I just saw like an archeologist um, dusting off some bones. I feel like your spirit guides want you to start meditating and really, really, really clearing away all this clutter and dust of this 3D dimension, this life and all the stories that you've taken on in this body, they want you to start clearing all that shit off for this new year so you can really start to see the skeleton, the skeletal structure of who you are, of what you're here to do. The blueprint, I hear again. You're not an average person. You don't have an average path. You never did. The people around you might not understand this. They might be trying to drag you down. They might be trying to put their own projections and hopes and desires onto you. Thank you, spirit. Do not let these people trick you out of your destiny. Wow. You were meant for greater things. And I just saw dinosaur bones. Okay, so similar message to the earlier one. But I feel like this is your ancient, ancient, ancient soul. This is how ancient you are. You're even more ancient than Earth. But you've been around. You've been around this Earth plane for a long time your soul yeah i'm feeling wow thank you thank you spirit wow we're not alone right now we're not alone god is trying to guide you right now but you have to clear your heart space you have to clear your mental space and you have to let go of the old stories and the old people and the old timelines they don't serve you anymore the truth is they did serve you at one time because you needed to grow, but they were never a match for you. Some of you got married, <clears throat> I'm hearing, young maybe even. You got married to people you thought you'd be with for, for the rest of your life, but that's because you didn't know who you were yet. And you were so busy trying to fit in with everyone else. Some of you might be getting divorced right now. That might be part of this ego death and spiritual awakening. 
and maybe it's hard to let go of this person and their family and the whole you know combined family maybe it's hard to let go of this version of you even the one that you thought was happy or would be happy with this other person this is a specific message for some of you spirit is saying this was all part of it and their soul signed up for that role as well just like yours signed up for this role and it was always part of the agreement that you would walk away so just know that you're not doing anything wrong if this is for you this specific message you're not doing anything wrong all of you for walking away from the things that don't serve you Yeah, you, I really, really feel like Spirit wants me to tell you how supported you are. You're, you are not alone. You're supported right now. The only thing standing in your way is the fact that you might not feel their support because you might have cluttered your, your, your container. Isn't a clear one. If, if this part of the message is resonating for you, it's because you have work to do internally. And for the rest of you that have been doing the work, your guys just want you to know how proud they are of you. They just want you to know how important the work that you're doing is and how, ah, oh, the there's a hummingbird singing outside my window. They just want you to know that they're here with you. They're watching everything you're doing. They're wildly impressed with you, I just heard. You have some ancestors here that are very, very proud of you. Feel the emotion. So lean into it. Lean into the divinity of this moment, of the divinity um, of your caretakers, is what I just heard. Lean into your role as a leader and a conduit for consciousness, for uh, unconditional love. And know that it's such a beautiful path. It might be really fucking hard. I know. I'm on it. Trust me, I know. But the, the reward is so massive. Being of service, assisting in such a divine transformation within oneself and then for the collective, you are the transformation. It wouldn't happen without each of us transforming ourselves first and then turning around and showing others the way. That is the process. We cannot just preach. We have to do the work ourselves. And that's how the divine alignment works. You know, we won't align with our highest timeline if we're still operating in low vibration energy. <clears throat> yeah, so I'm, just clear it out. Clear it out. And you might have something to say that you haven't been saying yet. Something that you're holding back. The Spirit really wants you to <clears throat> present, you know? <clears throat> they want you to speak up. Express yourself, I heard. To somebody... I'm feeling like some of you have something you need to say to somebody to kind of, okay, thank you, spirit. This new year portal, this new year portal. They want you to close, tie up all the loose ends, close out all those old cycles before you step through, picture an archway. The new year is an archway, it's a portal door opening wide. They want you to walk through it free and clear, free of all the burdens from your past existence, free of all the baggage, free of all the doubt, the fear, all the weight of the burdens that have been placed on your shoulders in this incarnation. They want you to take this time to cleanse it. I just saw a dog shaking it all off. Be intentional with this time. This is a powerful time. Use it wisely. Use it to release everything that's holding you back so that you can fly free. We couldn't do this without you. That's a fact. And Spirit's proud of you. You've got some ancestors that are proud of you. And I'm proud of you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for being a part of this. Thank you for lending your beautiful energy to this awakening. I love you. If you need some mentorship or guidance, I'm going to put my information in the description box. But either way, just know that you are not alone. You're loved. You're amazing. And... If you need some additional support, we started a new Patreon community and we're going live on Zoom for a Q&A on December 21st at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time if you would like to join. I'd love to see you there. All right? I love you. See you next time.